Hello, everyone, and welcome to Nassance E. At least I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. An exploration game in which we find ourselves in a strange world full of alien architecture of unknown purpose. And it's going to be up to us to kind of think on our feet and try and interpret as we go why we're here and what all of this represents. And I'm not sure it's going to spoon-feed us an explanation by the end of it. This must be one of the most requested games on the channel, by a long shot. I've been getting requests for this ever since last year, and I'm honestly not sure why it's taken me so long to play it. It's completely free on Steam if you want to try it for yourself. Now, one thing that's interesting to me, though, is the release date. A lot of the people who requested this described it as a liminal exploration adventure. And that could very well be the case, I mean, it certainly is, but it actually released in early 2014, well before a lot of online discussion on these topics. Now, a lot of the time when liminal aesthetics come up, it's a lot of well-known things and trying to emulate well-known things. So you'll see a lot of stuff like the back rooms and all of that, and I don't think any of that influence is going to be here. And for that reason, I think it's important that I completely flush my mind before going into this, forget any other frame of reference I might have for the things I might see, and just take it as it comes. Because this is clearly going to be operating on its own logic, if any at all. Let's get started. Lucy is lost. I'll say, this might be the most lost anyone's ever been. Now that's assuming I'm the first person to inhabit this space. I'm certainly not the first of anything to inhabit this space. What was that thing chasing me? It seemed like I was running towards it. Unless I was being pulled towards it. Like some kind of worm sifting its way through these corridors. Although, from what little we saw, it's hard to gather if there was actually any intention there, since it didn't seem to try and chase me once I fell down. It's almost like she knew to jump down and let it go over instead of turning and trying to run from it. And I wonder how long this character has been here. Did the shadow just shudder as I approached it? Uh, that would give me pause if it wasn't the only way to go. What if I turn around and watch the light recede behind me? Will that be more of a guider? Is it another one of those things? I can hear faint sounds around me, but... No, I'm probably supposed to pick this up, right? No. Oh no, I have to follow it! Yeah. Like some kind of little guide. Oh boy, there's platforming elements. I am not good at these. Yeah, but at least something's trying to show me the way to go. Is there intelligence to this, or... 
Is it more of like a mobile street sign? Oh, it's like being in one of those playhouses as a kid. Where? Oh. Uh, and something weird happens. Uh, wait, now that you moved on, it's going to be hard for me to see where I'm going. Oh, it's all dark now. And, and, oh, I keep falling down on the other side. That's why I have to... Okay. I think I know the way now. And, 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 Thanks for coming back. You hear that? It's like some moving, like, metallic sounds. They're not coming from this guy. Uh, I'm not sure I can make it up there. Not sure I can make it up there, buddy. This might have to be where we part ways. And that's kind of putting more points into the bucket of you're not actually intelligent, you're just a thing that happened to help me through your nature just now. Now one thing that I'm noticing is that I guess maybe I'm not supposed to think of it this way, because I am stepping into, like, a meta-interpretation now. But these are all untextured assets. These are all untextured walls. This is like the default gray look of Unreal. That sound is like a... Like some kind of engine turbine starting up mixed with the groans of some old man. Oh. I can see I found the light room. Uh, Adobe, please don't sue. Will that happen every time I go here? No. Is it maybe cyclic? It sounds like it's ramping up again. Ugh. That is too bright for me. It's completely illuminating my room behind me as well. Ah, oh, the way it goes in and out, it's almost like this is some kind of form of respiration. I can't get up there, but that way is dark. Maybe when it lights up, we'll be able to see a path out. Nope. Maybe there's... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that wall was opening. But we couldn't see because that wall was turning on a light as well. Oh my. Uh. Well, here's the point where it's important to ask the question, do we take fall damage? Is all this just ours to explore? God, this is like when you discover a ravine in Minecraft. Although, those structures on the ground are almost reminiscent of streets or rail lines. Uh, okay, uh... The dilemma now is, do we try to jump that or do we jump down? I'm gonna jump down, seems like a safer bet. Maybe if we're careful, we can make our way down to what I'm going to tentatively call the street below. I can't go down that way. Here's where we're going to test the limits of just how far we can fall without getting hurt. That's the limit. Meaning I can probably make that. soundtrack is starting to be quite unsettling, almost like trumpets announcing the arrival of some kind of evil. But given what we've seen so far, I honestly don't even... Why do I have to run? I, I, I don't even know if 
I can interpret that as soundtrack or just a sound that the space itself is making. Breathe regularly to run longer. Press mouse 1 to breathe when the blinking circle appears. We actually have to control our breathing. Man, let's test that. Let's try it. I wonder if there's going to be an element of timing to it. Like a certain point in the animation where we have to click in order to make it work. I, I kind of like that as a mechanic because... I don't know, it's it's a way to kind of physically tether me to my character. Often we do things in games that we probably aren't in the shape to do in real life, although I am trying to get there. Uh, here, I feel like that's something to... You know, it's not something that's necessarily going to hinder us by giving us an unrealistic, uh, like, minigame to play while we're going, but it's just present enough that we'll really feel a little bit of extra fatigue from trying to run. In my monologue, I hadn't even noticed that all that noise had stopped. I guess if I listen carefully, I can still sort of hear it, but... It was a little bit jarring once I suddenly realized that all I could hear was my own footsteps. Uh, this looks like... something important. Why is the ground suddenly ribbed here? Almost like something is meant to come to a stop here? It's an obstacle course. Can we climb up on top of this at all? <laughs> I'm like a kid on a playset. Yes, we can. Up here. Ooh, and we actually have a fair bit of ability to climb these 45 degree angles. Actually, it looks like it might be a little more than 45 degrees. I wonder if we'll actually be rewarded for exploring like with in-game uh, measures, or if it's all up to us to decide what we want to look at and how long we want to spend on a given area. Oh, let's head down now. Get moving. Actually, given that that sound we heard before kind of sounded like it could have been composed by John Williams, this is kind of like walking around on like the Death Star or something, isn't it? Okay, whatever's out there doesn't like those movies, I guess. The only one that's actually a door. Ooh, what a staircase. I like it, though. It's cozy. This is kind of reminding me of being in the stairwell of like a dorm or apartment building at night when no one else is around and maybe after a long hard day of work where you just kind of want to rest your head against the wall and sit here in the silence for a little while. Everything else so far, I mean that big chamber felt so hostile but crawling through a little space to get into this little hidey hole, I don't know, it feels like, it feels like a little pit stop. And this, on the other hand, feels like... Eh, it feels a little more foreboding, to say the least. It seems like a lot of the time this game is relying on me to... go in as far as I can... just with the assumption that I'll eventually hit something. Yeah. You gonna show me the way? Oh, you're like the lantern in the haunted mansion. The candelabra, I mean. So if I push into you, you'll move like that. What if I push you from the other side? Yes, I can send you back. And it looks like you'll leave uh, what can almost be interpreted as a little breadcrumb trail. That's useful. All right, which way do we want to take you? Hmm. Navigating this way, huh? 
but you can't go diagonally. You can only move at 90 degree angles, which means uh, we're not going to be able to rely on you for anything tricky. We just have to recognize that there is a path through here. There is a path through here, isn't there? I thought I saw it. No, 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 no. Actually, I'm not sure we do have control over which way you go, because it doesn't seem to matter which way I hit you from. Oh, no. There's not actually a path here. All right. Uh, this way, then. Wait. You haven't left breadcrumbs, so we haven't used you yet. All right. Much obliged. Thank you. I was going to scream if I came out onto that same stairwell. Hmm. Up until now, we've mostly been seeing even cubic surfaces, but this... This is more jagged, more angular. It's still the same shapes, but it's like they're not fitting together properly. Although notably, even where they don't fit together, there's still no gaps between them. <laughs> Guys, if you don't like overanalyzing, this is not going to be the video for you. This really does remind me of those old children's playsets, the more I look at it. I feel like in order to get the full sense of the hostility or uncaring nature of the place, I would have to be able to step into the game and know what these surfaces feel like. Like, if I reach out and touch them, are they cold or more room temperature? Are they solid or do they depress a little in my hands? That's weird. It's like there's a fog back here that enables me to see into that room that disappears the moment I come in. But there's something moving out there. Projecting light through. Ah, so the geometry can move on me, can it? Oh, look at that. It's almost like the glow comes from the environment itself. And it's at this point that I have to step back for a moment and imagine designers actually creating the space in Unreal. How does someone even think of something like this, much less actually be able to visualize it and plan to the point where they're able to put it together? I made fun of the untextured surfaces, but this is actually really gorgeous looking. The way it utilizes not just geometry, but light, and the way the light interacts with that geometry to cast shadows. Which almost adds another element of perceived geometry versus what's actually there. I can't get up there. What about you? Can I climb this? No. Uh, oh my. Uh, speaking of perceived geometry, platforming in the dark? Okay. Uh, I'll have to jump this gap. Yeah. And yeah. Crawl through here. Oh. Sometimes it almost seems like it's deliberately moving away from me. Trying to trick me. Like, it almost seems to have intent to it. I haven't established a solid pattern for how it moves yet. But I know I probably don't want to fall down here. Can I make that jump? It seems like that breadcrumb is probably guiding me, so... No, 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 ow. Well, I'm not dead. That's a good start. Could I have actually made that jump, or was it just trying to tempt me? I haven't really gotten a good feel. I'm going to have to practice my running jump to see just what my abilities really are in that regard. It's so hard to gauge what I'm actually doing. Was there something? Wait. <laughs> was it just the aliasing? The way a shadow was cast? Or did I see something down there for just a split second? In that opening where the light is consistent? And 
another thing I'm still thinking about. And besides those metallic noises that we keep hearing in the distance... What is with this soundtrack? I mean, as I said, it could just as easily be something that my character is actually hearing in-universe. But it's certainly got, like, a sinister sense of foreboding to it. I'm still kind of thinking about whether I would prefer it if there was no soundtrack at all. I could kind of be sold either way on it right now. Okay, climbing up here. Now what? I could jump to... there. Can't jump to here. I need something to light the space so I can see what's in that direction. Come on. Oh no, I hit the ceiling. So I instead have to go to probably here, right? Come up here. It would really, really help if I could see. In any sort of consistent fashion. Because as of right now, I don't even know where I'm going. Hello. I completely can't see now. What? What just happened? It feels like I just jumped through a wall. But I think what happened was I just jumped into the shadows. The shadows which I was waiting to be illuminated and it just never happened. If I touch one of you, you illuminate the area. touch you again, the darkness consumes once more. Well, let's leave you on, then. And turning you on doesn't turn you off. So we can use you as a guide, at least to some extent. Ah, here we are. An enclosed space. I'm starting to... I'm starting to really value those tight, narrow spaces in which I can see everything around me. And I'm starting to get kind of an anxiety about the wide open spaces. What is that called? Agoraphobia, I think? I might be mixing that up. Something about being able to see something... Uh, maybe it's something to do with seeing familiar structures, too. I mean, this is most definitely a hallway. It looks like something that humans might build. Humans in Star Wars, but still. It's a recognizable structure. Everything else, I don't know. It's just something that, like, the human brain did not evolve to have any shorthands for. Run to jump longer. Uh, yeah, I think I figured that particular skill out around the time of Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. Yeah. Alright, but here is what I was waiting for. No, come back! Ah. Oh, you actually are coming back. Ah, that's convenient. And I was not doing the click thing at all during that, so I guess I don't really need it. Uh, in order to make that jump. Now here's where we once again raise the question, are these surfaces squishy? The floor definitely isn't based on the sound of our footsteps, but this looks like a nice spot to sleep. And provided they really do depress, like the mats they put on gym walls. I was in elementary school when they finally decided to put those into the walls of the gym, and they all have them now. They must have passed a law, but you know, for a good couple of years, uh, I was free to completely destroy my body if I wasn't paying attention while playing a game. It seems so obvious, but a lot of kids must have gotten hurt in that time.
Whoa. Oh, and there's a little something right there. I wonder if there's ever going to be parts where paths diverge and there's more than one way that I can go. These slanted surfaces before I can get in here are certainly not helping my confidence. Almost look like someone fell before, like they collapsed under something's weight, or and maybe it's just straight-up malicious architecture meant to make you slide off. And I can certainly feel the slipperiness of the surface. Now here, the lack of textures is doing a weird thing where... It almost feels like, I don't know, it almost feels like I can't get a good perspective on this. Like, it looks like it's not that far down, but it also looks like it kind of might be. I'm going to try to make the jump just in case. Uh, nope, we're good, but it was a little farther than I thought. Let's do this smart. Uh, okay, um, operating on Looney Tunes logic right now. Yep, never mind. What just loaded? You can't fool me, game. What did you just load? Oh, wow. There's some kind of gas or steam coming out of that vent. Ventilating what, though? Sounds of things all around. I could have sworn I just saw something crawling on that pillar. See, I thought I saw something, then I thought I probably didn't, but now the music is kind of making me think I did. I feel like any moment the flood from Halo are going to start pouring out of all these little cracks, and... and the architecture certainly lends itself to that. Oh no, John Williams is back with his orchestra! I feel like I'm Indiana Jones coming up to take the idol. Where are you going? Hello? You guys cease to exist when it's dark. So let's bounce you again. Run through. Uh, which of course begs the question, what happens if I'm inside one when it comes back and becomes solid again? Uh, there's something to try later. I don't remember when it last saved. The game does autosave. I've seen the icon a couple of times. These big open spaces where I can hardly see. And more of those tiled surfaces, meaning we can use them for travel. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so now we have a puzzle. We need that wall to be dark while the floor is light. There we go. Maybe we can do something with the timing here. And again, there is still a whole other space to explore. Uh, for example, those things there... If we jump on them, will we light up like those other things? I'm getting really disturbed by the soundtrack now. I'm starting to be able to pick out instruments in there. And for some reason, hearing something familiar makes it worse in a place like this. Okay, so landing on you guys doesn't do anything. 
There is, however, a pit of despair right there. Whoa, don't look at that. Oh, I made my stomach drop, and it was only a glance. Okay, let's try this hard thing first. Send you out. And while you're doing that, I'll try and do one of these. And one of these. No. I think I get it. I think maybe I have to send you down, then hit you. And maybe that'll do what I need it to? You're gonna come back on your own, right? No, no, you're not. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that was actually really obvious. Uh, just took me a second because I wanted to explore a little bit. Although, like I said, it still remains to be seen just how much I'll be rewarded for exploration. Like, are there hidden areas, or am I moving through in a linear fashion? Totally dark over here. And clearly I'll have to find some way to light you guys at some point. But first I have to get up to the point where that would be useful. Okay, yield crouch jump works here. But it may not be what I have to do. Oh wait, there's a ladder right there. I had forgotten about those. Uh, what happens if we climb over here? Clearly our goal is to move vertically in this chamber, try and get as high up as we possibly can. But god, everything is just so much more difficult when you can't see what you're doing. Well, let's find out what you guys do. Get a lay of the land. I did not see where you went. Where do you go? You travel around. Okay, so you're a light blocker. So... Okay, so right now we can go through here. If I push you down now, we'll fall through the floor. But if that surface were visible to you... Okay, you'll only go back and forth between those two points. We can do that. Get rid of you. You'll enable us to check out over there. So let's try that. Hmm. Now we're not making that jump. But maybe now that you're over here and we move you... No, now the whole thing goes. All right. Okay. Well, you know what? I guess now what we can do is put you back here. Send you back that way because it was... Yeah, for some reason, it seems like you guys toggle a specific thing. Because my logic was thinking, okay, if I send you back here, then both of those things will be visible again. But I remembered that that wasn't the case even when you started there. So I guess that's just how it works. Yep. Gotta make sure not to fall through this thing, though. Uh, now the question is how to do something with you. That's a little bit trickier. Oh, I see. There's one of these guys over here. I should have investigated a little more thoroughly. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. So you guys will show up. And yeah, so that enables that. And you're going to move up and down, doing all that. We can climb up here, enabling us to ooh, drop down somewhere, but I'm not sure drop down where. I'm just going to assume that we have to. Leap of faith. Yep. Yep, there we are. And now we just have to do the thing from before. Get rid of that. Wait. You bet, no! Ugh. You need to be there, you need to be there, is the point. And now we can walk through here occasionally. 
But the fact that this has this platformer element where this thing appears and disappears makes me think that getting trapped inside one is a bad thing. At a certain point, though, I'm going to have to just do it just to see what happens, right? Nope. Okay, so that's why that's that way. But I have to be able to see where I'm going first. Uh, just across? I guess so. That's going to be really frustrating throughout this playthrough, isn't it? Those times where I'm supposed to go somewhere I can't actually see. I hope this game isn't too heavy on the leaps of faith. <laughs> okay, and the ground closed up behind me. At least as far as I could see. Wow, you guys really do not wait... Oh, we're high up in that chamber we were in before. Only now we're up on the level of the vents. Exhaust from something, or something that's being deliberately pumped into this room for some reason. Okay, and you're going all the way over there. Well, yeah. Uh... Maybe this isn't the same chamber from before, because it seems to be wanting me to move down. Well, how do we make our way down from here? Right here. No, this is the same place from before. This is the same place from before, so where were we supposed to go? You went all the way over there, but something must have changed, right? Now you're over there. You're a lighthouse in the corner. You must have changed something. Well, there is your way. Hmm. The second big chamber. Given that it looked like a lighthouse when I sent it across to that opposite tower in the chamber, uh, maybe I'm meant to be creating dual lighthouses to light something up in that room? Alright, what are we doing here? You're gonna have to show me. Oh, they really want to encourage the parkour here, huh? I gotta remember that you guys are basically intended as a chase. Only when I can't quite see where you're going, it becomes a question of jump or keep running. Oh wow, that really did start to feel like a workout. That breath mechanic is actually a really good idea. But now we, I guess, light the second beacon. Oh, that was actually kind of fun. And away you go. The question is, what will that do for us? Oh! We have received an answer as to the question, what will that do for us? Wait, those footsteps are not mine. Is somebody there? No, I'm moving slowly forward. But why? What's happening? Going down. Okay, did I just experience some kind of weird glitch? Oh, these halls are totally bathed in blinding white light. Am I supposed to run in this direction? There's like a weird smoke or particle this way. 
But I think I've reached some kind of back wall. I can't see it at all. Alright, there must be something this way then. Maybe through here? There we go. I'm a little disconcerted with how quickly that lighting changed. Hello. Hello. This is distinctly evoking images of a city, and... Uh, with the way I saw those windows in the distance when I turned that corner... I'll be honest, I mean, I said I was going to discard any past notions of... logic or familiar imagery, but... For a second, I couldn't help but think of Liminal Hotel. Those look like fire escapes. The entrance to some kind of building. These are clearly urban apartments, and there's like all kinds of pipes and girders all around. It's almost like buildings built into buildings. Just how high up does this go? It just stretches off into the fog. When we look up, it's like the rooftops of buildings facing down at us like parallel worlds. I'm more than a little bit in love with this game's art style. I mean, just looking around this one area, there's so many different things to see and inspect. And those look like burning fires, like holes where things have smashed into it. Things deteriorate and get darker the further down you go. In a way, even though we're looking up at even more structures that, as far as we can tell, are continuous from what we've already seen, it's almost like it emulates a sky. Okay, well, we can't jump down that way. There's a ladder here, though. Uh, a ladder taking us only up? Can we go down? No, only up. Oops, oops! <laughs> okay. We're gonna not do that until I know where I'm going. What is the purpose of this ladder? There's gotta be a way to go down. Okay, you have to press S. FPS games come a long way, but... Ladders are still quite deadly, I'm afraid. Huh. But actually, now that I look at it, those aren't even... Are those even fires, or are they just lit crevices within the buildings with smoke pouring out of them. Now, so many things are evoking familiar thoughts, familiar shorthands, without actually being those things. A while back, when I played Schlepp's Liminal Space, I described liminal spaces as being something that looks like aliens building a human habitat, like emulating human architecture without actually understanding what any of it does. And I've never seen that exemplified more than here. Well, let's jump to this. We can go up or down. A lot of room to explore here. And you know, it, it's been quite a while, but... We haven't heard from that thing that was chasing us in the beginning. One moment, just grabbing the thumbnail. Okay, we can't go any higher up than this. What about down? I, I, I can't stand the thought of holding down the W key to go down these stairs. It's too sensitive. No 
railings, no railings, no railings, no railings, no railings, and now it's dark. <laughs> I don't know how I got trapped here, but I hope the selection process isn't random, because this place is not senior or handicapped accessible. take a break for a second. It is actually, look, I really don't like heights. It is actually so nerve-wracking trying to make my way down those stairs. Like, I'm actually getting jitters trying to do this. And I kind of have no choice but to look down. Well, after walking down many flights of stairs, we're almost, almost on level with the roofs of the nearby skyscrapers. And there's nothing here. There's got to be something we can get to. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Oh, I'm going to have to climb back up. Wait, we can jump down to there. We can jump down to there, but that's quite a gamble. Any more information we can gather before doing that? For committing to that course of action, it doesn't look like the right move. Doesn't look like the right move at all. I'm getting all kinds of ideas, but they're not good ideas, and until I learn a little bit more... I'm not going to act on them. I could jump to that and run across that, maybe, but I, I just don't know where I'm going from there. Oh, what the heck, YOLO. Oh, there's some shifting panels down there. When they reach the bottom, it's like they tap one of those things and cause the light to flicker. But what are they doing? Is there maybe some kind of, like, value that's attributed to light in this place? Or maybe it's, like, pistons in some kind of machine. But if this whole place is a machine, then a machine for what? Uh, this, uh, there's annoying platforming, which I feel like is some of what we just came from, and then there's scary platforming, which is what this is. No rush, but it's on me to figure out what I'm doing and where I'm going. Maybe if we jump down here, maybe, just maybe, we can... Uh, I feel like there's a little bit of wobble to me when I, when I walk forward in crouch mode. Come on, drop. Drop. Maybe it's safer to drop right here. No, we can't. <laughs> the last thing I wanted to do was press the D key right there. There's a light on right there. It's inviting, but maybe a trap? What if we crawl through here? I'm fairly sure I'm supposed to be making my way down here. But I don't think I can make my way to that rooftop. I don't think there's a path for that. And how far down are those bars? It's so hard to tell. Ugh. I think I was pushing it with that distance, but I'm alive. Alright, I think we do have to head towards that light. See, what's scary about this is that... There's a lot to look at, which keeps me interested while I'm going through it all. But it's on me to decide where I'm going and what I want to try. There's a lot of things that could be potentially the way I'm supposed to go. And it's starting to look like this isn't that. Because that light is much farther away than I had judged. Much farther. I 
I don't know what to do now. I think I might be trapped. I could try... Mm, no, I could try sliding down this thing. Uh, okay, so... Pop quiz about the physics. When we slide down that surface, uh, will we land just below, or will we gain momentum and ramp ourselves right off into the abyss? The answer is YOLO. <laughs> okay. Okay. We did some very useful science today. It was risky, but, uh, you know, to make an omelet, you gotta break a few eggs. Or is it legs? I suppose either could apply in this situation. Uh, but finally, we are on stairs, and these stairs even come with a railing. Uh, kind of like a thank you for playing, I guess. A parting gift. Now, the way out is clear, but I feel the need to explore from another angle. That below looks like some kind of grand entrance. Maybe that's where we're heading. If we get to that, we can get inside that skyscraper-looking thing. Oh, crazy how different it looks from this perspective. Oh, we really have come down a long way. I don't think we're going to have to access that staircase, but this door is open. I retract my previous statement. But where does it go? I could jump down from here, get onto there probably, and make my way along those beams. I really don't like how this falls off into darkness. If the wall next to it weren't so illuminated, I wouldn't be able to see anything. I wouldn't trust it. It's only the contrast that enables me to see now. See, the uneven lighting in these gaps, you know, of course that makes you think they're like windows or something. And the sight of a light on in windows makes you feel like you're close to people, but... You know, the soundtrack is currently making me wonder what kinds of people would inhabit a place like this. Or if I'd even be able to see them at all with my own eyes. Now this looks the same, but I think we've moved inside. Yeah, there's a wall separating us. I, I think we're inside the structure now. Or at least inside the edges. This whole thing is kind of one big structure, isn't it? I'm trying to interpret cues from the soundtrack, but... That's so difficult to do. Now it's starting to feel like I'm someplace I'm not supposed to be. Like I've moved from the upper floors of skyscrapers down into, well, sort of the seedier part of town where everything's got this green tint. It's full of this exhaust blocking my vision. I swear I saw something flash in the distance right there. Although that might have just been a graphical error. Given the platforming nature of this place, I'm very wary of moving forward when I can't see. And of course the question I kind of had in the back of my mind this whole time, which is... Is this place malicious, or am I just inside some great machine that isn't even aware of my presence? I wasn't trying to jump over, I was trying to jump onto the railing, which, now that I say it out loud, uh, doesn't sound very smart either. Huh. 
It reminds me of when the shops closed down in Penn Station. Oh, there's so much to explore. I, I feel like there's actually a lot of different ways for me to go and... Uh, even though I'm pretty sure it'll all end with me going to the same place, I want to see as much as I can. Hello, what's the purpose of you? Why am I even asking that question? As if I'm going to be receiving an answer anytime soon? I'm also a little bit torn on whether I want to receive answers on this place. Whether it's better the less we learn. Imagine this from an outside perspective, watching me walk through all these doors and climb all these stairs, coming in and out in impossible dimensions, like some kind of Scooby-Doo chase gag. Still can't see the bottom. Still more ways to go. I could walk all the way down there, but uh, I want to explore. I'm so torn now. Up until this point, it's been fairly linear. Uh, this is getting disorienting. Uh. <laughs> I think that might have been screwing with me. Because sometimes when I rounded a corner, I would feel it hitch a little bit. Remember when I said that I feel safe in enclosed areas and unsafe in wide areas? Still true. Still true, and the feeling increases in a linear fashion. Do I hug the wall or do I run out into the open? I'm afraid of losing this. Oh, and something about the large space between the gaps in the floor makes me feel so small. keep turning around because I don't want to lose track of where I came from. The second it starts to fade, I'm going to become very nervous. Color me nervous. But I'm hoping something just happened. My own reflection in my monitor just startled me. But I stood still and watched it fade, so there must be a point that I was meant to reach, right? Oh, but I'm looking around, I can't see anything. I can still hear my own footsteps, so I know, I know it hasn't started loading something. This is not good. This is not good. I... I completely can't see anything. Wait. Wait, something's starting to appear. Oh, the image is so uniform, I don't even know where I'm facing. Am I looking up? Am I looking down? Left? Right? I, I have no idea. Oh, I was looking down. Well, I guess I found my way back somehow. Just let me out of here. I don't seem to have made any progress. Well, that loop's doing nothing for me. And perhaps it was never, perhaps it was never really a loop at all. Well, 
that was a fun house and a half, but I'm ready to progress now. Or what can loosely be called progression. Uh, I feel like I'm on my way to get sold out by Lando Calrissian. Just keep moving down. Down's been the trend. Down it shall remain. This was a trick door that they leave open as a prank, I guess. Actually, maybe from here. And nope, there's a structure in the way. We still can't see anything that resembles a bottom. I stepped out a little farther than I wanted to. I'm having a really hard time knowing when to end this part. I read online beforehand that this game takes about four hours to complete. I, I, I guess I'll end it once I'm out of what can be called this area. But this area is a very, very loose way to describe things. But we're now on the level of the fires. I'm trying to stare into them, see if I can see something new, but there's not much. Oh, I've just realized those aren't particles. Those are like an un- or there's some particles, but for the most part, it's like an unfolding structure. Like something extending from inside and then pulling back in. Let's watch them. Oh, wait. They're like... They're like worms hatching out and then crawling down the sides. I can see them inching, and I bet... I bet they're gonna crawl into the corresponding holes below them. Yes. And then they'll come right back out at the top. Each one on a path. Oh, that is so neat. Uh, I'm glad I stopped and filmed a little nature documentary because that completely... I I've gone through like eight different perspectives on what's actually going on here this entire time. Those are the closest things we've seen. What I thought was just smoke billowing out of holes turned out to be the closest thing we've seen to a life form. Well, aside from that thing that was chasing us at the beginning. Ah, uh, these are the back end of those piston-like structures. Thus feeding into the machine-like nature of this place. Uh, but that's weird. It's like they're projecting light out the back of them. It's almost like they're moving forward on that side of the wall, touching the light that's there, and bringing it back into the darkness on this side. Although why is anyone's guess... Uh, we could jump down into the pit. That's one thing we could do. It's not something I'm gonna do, but I'm my own person. It's my freedom to do so. This doesn't look like a solid surface to stand on. I'm definitely gonna have to put an epilepsy warning on this. Just collapse. Just collapse. I know you're fixing to do it. Uh, even more of those holes with the fireworm creatures as far down as the eye can see. Uh, but as far down as the eye can see still doesn't include a bottom.
Wait, what is that? Oh, wait, no. We actually can see something. There's like a bluish glow all the way down there. But still no idea how to reach it. Maybe I do have to jump down here. Maybe there is a surface there. Huh. <laughs> uh. Oh wait, why can't I move forward? That was weird. I think something might have glitched out there. I know I had to crouch, but I thought I was crouching. Oh no, I'm gonna have to platform over you guys, aren't I? <laughs> I, I hate sidestepping because it feels so sensitive. You're gonna retract all the way in. I gotta time this right. But it's so irregular. Oh god, this is gonna be frustrating. Checkpoint now, please. Checkpoint now, please. Checkpoint now, please. Any time with the checkpoint, any time you want. Eh. Eh. Tina Belcher plays Nissan C, guys. Ow. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to have made it. Oh, look at that. It, it, it's like these surfaces uh, absorb light on one end and then push it out to the other side. And look at that. We have the same window structure, which, oddly enough, has only one light on in the building. And yet there's spires and what almost looks like AC units that you would see on top of a building on the side. This might actually be a good chance to see one of those worm things up close. Maybe even see if there's like a face as they come out and look down. Yeah, not really. Although I guess those structures on the left and right can loosely be interpreted as eyes. Howdy, folks. Oh, no. I'm at the point where I could almost touch you. Maybe... I'll have to ride one of you all the way to the bottom. I'll have to catch the next one. I was a little slow on that, but... I was looking around to confirm if that's actually what I have to do, but... Looking around, I, I don't really have any better ideas. I want to try and get a good look at that blue haze, but I'm so paranoid about stepping too close to the side. I have to wait for you to climb into your hidey hole before you'll come out the next one. Ah, here you are. Uh, is this the 1015 to rock bottom? I'm just gonna have to go for it. Oh wow, I got a good seat. Now, I'm also gonna have to be paying attention to where I'm getting off. Uh, because... I don't know what happens once you carry me back inside that hole. For all I know, you'll just throw me right off. Oh, no. I think we might be about to get carried inside. Ugh. I... I can't seem to move. I can't move inside. Do I just drop down? I, I, I can't do anything. I can't move in to make myself less prone to falling to death. 
Uh, uh, what's happening? Am I not supposed to be here? I don't think I was supposed to do that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what just happened there. I don't think I was supposed to ride it all the way into that hole to begin with. Maybe I'm supposed to be hitching multiple rides. Maybe, uh, it, it looks like it's too far. I was gonna say maybe I can use you to jump onto some of the other guys on their way down. Maybe even using these beams as platforms to do so. But that's quite a big ask. Oh wait, no, there's something over here. This is definitely where I'm supposed to be. All right, yep. Now we can grab a ride on one of you. Yep. The pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. Nope, not here. Not here. Sorry, I got off prematurely. You guys are having just, like, a real fun time with the sound bites in this whole section, aren't you? Uh, where, where... Okay. I'm not sure where your entrance is going to be. It's right here, and I don't know where I'm going from here. Oop! <sighs> Sheer luck saved me there. Oop. Always check the narrow, dark corner for an extra staircase. Uh, the soundtrack now, for the first time, isn't sinister. It's almost like it's playing over a documentary, like we're supposed to see this as a beautiful thing, like some kind of majestic migration. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I was supposed to jump onto there. I have to be standing on the right side to make sure I know where exactly I'm going. I can use this as a breathing spot! Well, now I'm in a pickle. Oh, never mind. Developer thought of this. Developer thought of this. Oh, but here is actually the perfect opportunity to see just where this is all leading. Easy now. Easy now. Still no end in sight. Okay, this guy can take us a little farther. But I think that's our target. And I think once I'm through with this part, that's when I'll end this video. <sighs> Gotta keep moving in this direction. Even with on our friend. With on? <laughs> that works really well, but I don't think it's a real word. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. The problem is I can't tell where they're actually going in. So I don't know how long I have. Those doors are opening and closing... Seemingly for no purpose but to project light in here, but really revealing the amount of dust or some other particle that's in the air. You guys are appearing a lot more regularly, giving me more chances to hitch a ride. Something that I'll always associate the word hitch with is, do you remember those living books games uh, where they would be, like, they would follow like the plot of a movie or a book and, you know, you'd have all the characters on screen and environments to interact with and you can click on things and like fun animations and such would happen. And each time you entered a page of the book, uh, the narrator would read out each uh, word by the word and you could click on each word on the page. And I think I missed my stop. Uh, you could click on each word on the page, and the narrator would say it. Um, and so, 
I had a Toy Story one. Oop. I really wish I could quick save. I had a Toy Story one where uh, one of the one of the pages said something about like uh, Woody and Buzz were hitching like hitched a ride on the uh, Pizza Planet car. I'm having a hard time thinking and platforming and talking and all that all at once at the same time. Uh, but basically, they it, it said like they hitched a ride on the Pizza Planet car or whatever in this long paragraph. And I would always sit there and I would click the words to make it say like, Woody and Buzz got hitched. Well, I thought it was funny. Uh, but now I'm stranded. I'm not really sure where I'm going. Oh, this one's moving up. Okay, I'm starting to get a clearer picture of where I'm going. Alright. So we gotta wait for one to come out of here. Jump onto it. Hitch a ride on the one going down. Alright, so here's you. Yep. Up and over. Uh, where's your... Wait, wait, wait. I need, I need one of your friends to show up. I really need one of your friends to show up. Like, right now. No, come on! This part is pissing me off now. Oh, wait. I'm alive? Ah, I'm alive! Okay. Uh, this one's moving down to here. Okay. Skill. Pure skill. No luck. Ah, oh, I'm so glad to be out of here. I'm honestly fatigued from that. And I haven't even had to run for a while. Now, these are accommodations. They should be scary without all the railings going off in all different directions. Seemingly not supported nearly as much as they should be, unless these cubes are really very light and these stairs are really very strong. Well, this isn't where I'm going. This door isn't open. And as soon as we leave our wormy friends, the music of the majestic migration ceases, and we're once again left to our own devices. Anything back here? No? Huh. I am so tired. Next time we see that checkpoint symbol, I think I'm going to end it for this episode. If we can find one... I'm hitting a lot of dead ends here. And there's a weird whistle coming out of the abyss. Oh! Clever. Oh, you'll really wedge staircases in the most out-of-the-way places, won't you? The most obscure corners. And that checkpoint is the indication that we are finished for this part. Ah, oh, this is so cool so far. I, I was worried that, you know, a game that's so open to interpretation, I wouldn't have a lot to say, but I've already gone well over my usual record time. Although I'm not sure what this will get edited down to. I don't think I'm going to cut that much. I've actually had a surprisingly good time just kind of observing and seeing what thoughts and feelings come back to me naturally. And I can't wait to see what more shows up next time. That is a very creepy howling. With a visible wind rushing through this chamber. But we won't find out, or at least try to find out until next time. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. It is completely free on Steam. And as always, I will see you in the next one.